Ladies, gentlemen, and others, my name is Juan Gomez. No, wait, no, no, it's not Juan Gomez, it's Juan John John, ignore that. I got a thing in the mail. Now, this is a very special thing. So special, in fact, that I forgot to take off the shipping label because I just barely got home and I saw that I got it. So let's just do that. I said, let's do, oh God, oh God, we're already doing great. Okay, so we got a thing in the mail. Something that, you know what, fuck it. We're just going to, you know what, this is the packaging. It's basically the same on each side, except for the fact that right here it has a little... Right here it has a little pull here to open sesame strip, which is not working as intended. Um, Oh, that's because I pulled it from the wrong direction. You're supposed to pull it from this direction. So we're going to do that. I said we're going to do that. That buzzer, huh? I'm not even fucking grabbing the tab. I'm grabbing the part underneath it. But yeah, got a thing. And this thing is a very special thing. It's something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Here's a piece of cardboard inside of the box. But what we're after... But what we're after is this thing, which is, but but but, the Persona Five vinyl soundtrack. So this is um the I Am Eight Bits exclusive vinyl print of the Persona Five soundtrack, the essential edition, the standard edition. I wanted to buy the. Um, they had two editions. They had the Essential 4-disc, and I believe they had, like, a 5-disc special edition, and I wanted to buy the 5-disc special edition, but unfortunately, they opened up pre-orders while I was at work, and this mother- and the special edition sold out, like, damn near immediately, so I was only able to nab this 4-disc version, but yeah, here you go. We got a little whiteboard-looking thing where you can, like, put, like, what the soundtrack makes you feel, which I fucking love it. That's great. So, yeah. Persona 5, the Essential Edition. Vinyl LP soundtrack. Listening curated by Outlet Sound Team. So, yeah, basically, this is just a basic little hey, this is the Persona 5 thing. It was curated by Atlas, which is the creators of Persona 5, and basically just really fucking good. I The computer screen was turned on behind me, and that was, like, doing shit, and holy Christ, you are out of focus. Okay, now you're in focus. But yeah, here it is, Persona 5. Let's turn off this computer. Yeah, we should probably, you know, limit the light sources. But yeah, let's open this babe. Okay, right, yeah. Excuse me while I futz around with this, because I just realized... Alright. Okay, right. Oh, God. Everything's going wrong. Oh, nope, nope, that's... Okay, there we go. There we... Come on, come on, be... Adjust yourself. Don't be a fuck about this camera. Okay, there we go. Much better. Anyways... Vinyl, Persona 5, let's open her up and see what's going on inside. So like I said, this is the essential standard edition. This isn't the special edition, unfortunately. That thing sold out immediately, and this went on pre-order like minutes when I started my shift at work, and that was working full uh, full day that day, so I was unable to nab the special. But here we are. First of all, just, oh god, it's pretty good artwork. Got some pictures of all of your main per confidants, personas, and we got the P5 logo, and just stylish as shit, which is just the entire game is just stylish as shit. Alright, so what do we got inside of here? We got this little postcard. Okay. Here's a little message of thanks from the creator of the soundtrack, I'm assuming, a Shoji Miguru, and I apologize in advance if I butchered that completely. And what's this? Okay. So we got a bunch of stickers of a bunch of letters. I guess this is meant to be put on the back of the box. You know, just spell out what this soundtrack makes you feel. But what we got here is, hello, what is this? Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. 
That's cool. Okay, this thing has like this little strap in it that like you can pull to like assist you in getting the tracks out. That's actually pretty neat. I actually quite like that. That's a nice little... I love it when people put like weird little like simple stuff that just like excites me for whatever reason. But yeah, we got track number one, which has a whole bunch of shit. So we got track number one. Now let's see if we can get the actual vinyl out. There we go. 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 Okay, so we got is, oh god. So yeah, we got Joker's Mask, and I forget what the fuck his name is, but yeah, we just got, it's just, huh. Also, we got some, uh, we seem to have some sort of lettering on here. I'm not exactly sure what it says. SS? Is it like, what the fuck is this? I don't know, there's some sort of lettering. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. It's like etched in there, but yeah, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, this is just, you know, it just looks classy. It looks classy as fuck. I just like the way this looks. Okay, so. So yeah, we got the main character's little, you know, an image of the main character's, you know, wearing uniform. Um, his, I believe his official name is Akira, is what we're going with. Then we have, who is this? This is Tamaki, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, if we go take this off. Okay, so this is a different color. This is gray. And we got, you know, uh, Panther's Mask. And we also got Mona, otherwise known as Morgana, the mascot character of this particular game. As always, all Personas, at least... You know, Persona 3 onwards. I'm not sure about Persona 1 or 2. All of them must have some sort of mascot character. And then we got... I actually haven't come across this character yet. I don't remember their name and I haven't come across them in the game itself yet since I only recently started playing it. And ooh, ooh, I like this one. Oh, this is the like smoky, opaque-ish color vinyl it's kind of see-through it doesn't have really much you know much you know color to it it's see-through i love see-through shit like if this see-through is my aesthetic like if they sold like see-through say like cell phones like the old crystal colored game boy um advances and i think the game boy sps like you know what i'm talking about those ones that had like the purple clear plastic that you can see all the circuitry in those are oh i love that that's my favorite type of thing i really wish they would bring that back like there's this mod for the nintendo switch that i have been debating whether or not i want to get because there's this mod you can do yourself which will allow you to replace the nintendo switch's plastic casing with a more opaque so you can see all the circuitry and it looks cool as shit but i'm just afraid i'll break my i'll brick my uh, Nintendo Switch if I do it, but I've been tempted, trust me. And uh, here's the fourth LP. This is Futaba, Futaba, glasses wearing chick. Here's a picture of the back. Nice little broken symbol on it. And oh, yep, here we go. Yep, here is the, what I expected the first vinyl to be. Color red, see-through, and we got, I believe that's Futaba's you know, a mask, and that is the other character who I can't remember their name. But yeah. You know, I, I would have liked them to be a bit more imagey, like to have like a smoke effect, or maybe even like you can see they have like a little shattered effect. You know, decal in the background, so if like the vinyl itself had some sort of like shatter decal on it, that would be kind of cool. But you know what? At the same time, you know, Persona 5 just has this the strongest shit style. And it's like a really simple style, and I just like it. It's fine. It's fantastic. It's fucking great. But yeah. Okay, so we got like four vinyls. We have a sticker sheet and a little thank you letter. We got this nifty little case, which I really actually like this case. This case is pretty good. It's simple. It's short. It's effective. It gets the job done. It tells you exactly what you're in for. You know, we got this back part, which I'm not sure, you know, I'm probably not going to put anything on here, just leave it blank, but still. 
I really like it. I just, per, this is done in the style of the game, and I really love the game aesthetic. Like, Persona 5 just, oh, it oozes style. It's fucking great. And what else is in here? Nothing else. Here's the inside of the box. You have the little I am 8-bit logo. But yeah, that's about it. So yeah, this has been the Persona 5, you know, um, what the fuck is it called? The Standard Edition? The um, Essential Edition. Soundtrack, it's fucking great. It's phenomenal. I love this game. It's just, oh, the fact that I can have this soundtrack is fantastic. It's just great. It's lovely. It's, oh, I just love this thing. But yeah, that's been the Persona 5 Vinyl Collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From I Am Ape, I Am Ape. It. You can buy this on the link down below. I'll link it to the store. I believe the Essential Edition, this one I got in my hands, is a hundred bucks. And if I'm not mistaken, the um, special was one forty. But I don't believe they have it in stock anymore. This was a limited run as well, so I don't think they're ever gonna get it back in stock unless they do like a super special sale or something. But yeah. This is well worth your money if you can get your hands on it. it. It looks great. I don't know how it sounds, but really, in all honesty, I don't buy vinyls to, like, actually play them. I buy them because, like, I like the artists they're, they're about, and I just like the way they look. So, yeah, that's the Persona 5 Essential Edition vinyl for LP vinyl collection. Go purchase it down in the link below if you can. Totally recommend it. I just like the way it looks, and I feel like it was a good $100 spent. Anyways, well, that's me for today. This is just a bit of bonus content for this channel. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, or disliked it, there was a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Check out the description for links to all my other stuff I do. I am doing, like I said before, I'm doing a let's play of this game. Of this um, game, this soundtrack comes from. So if you, you should go check that out if you're into let's plays. And if not, you know, subscribe to this channel for, you know, more reviews and like just this unboxings that i'm just gonna i had a separate channel i was on i was uploading these two but you know what might as well upload them to here as long as they're peripherally peripherally that's the word peripherally you know connected to video games and anime then yeah there's a perfect place to upload upload them but yeah that's been me juan john john for the day i shall see you all next time goodbye okay